Egy. This is welcome to the PlayStation Direct. Welcome, welcome. Here it is. Here it is. Whoa, 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 whoa. Here it is. Here's the new game. Oh my god, oh my god. It's been announced. It's been finally announced. God of War Donkey Kong. Yes, it's finally been announced. It's finally been announced. It's big news. It's a big news. People never thought it would come out. Yep, it's been finally announced. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I'm getting a new game. I'm getting a new game announced to me. Oh my god, could it be? Could it finally be? Elden Ring. You guys, Elden Ring just showed up. Oh my god. This is getting crazy. This is getting insane. It's Elden Ring. Oh my god. Oh, could it be? Could it also be? No way, there's no way. Are you serious? You guys, I don't know if I can show this on stream. I don't know if I should show this on stream. I just got a new game handed to me. They're doing a NAC 3. This is insane. This is insane. This is the greatest direct so far. Elden Ring. God of War Donkey Kong. NAC 3. Can't All of the big games are getting stars Battle Royale. All of the biggest games are happening right now. Oh my god. Oh my god, this guy just has... He just got a copy. This guy just got a copy. Oh my god, there it is. <laughs> it's real. It's real, there's the proof. Oh my god, this is getting insane. This is getting insane. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, what is this? Donkey Kong holds the power of the Elden Ring. Elden Ring God of War, you guys. Just got announced. Right here at the PlayStation show. Oh my god, this is insane. This is insanity. Elden Ring Donkey Kong. God of War. This is insane. Oh my god, I can't believe they're doing it. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Now, wait a minute. Uh oh, I'm getting new. I'm getting new. Are you serious? You guys, you guys. I just got a big announcement. They're doing a Metal Gear Six return of the old boss. They're finally doing it. This is getting insane today. Metal Gear 6, power of the Elden Ring. He holds the ring in his clutches. Versus Donkey Kong from God of War. This is getting insane today. I didn't think it would get this crazy. Wait, stop the show. Stop the show. What? What? Are you serious? Okay. I don't know if I can announce this yet. I don't know if I can announce this one yet. Don't show that one? Okay, I'm not going to show that one yet.
I'm not going to actually show this one. Okay, but I am going to show it. Mega Man Legends 3 confirmed. Finally, a new Mega Man Legends. I can't believe they're finally doing it. PlayStation went all out. They went all out this year. This is their best show yet. Whew, this is getting crazy. This is this is really getting crazy. Are you serious? Okay. I just see a new. Uh, they just. They're showing me. I'm like looking at a prompter. And they're just showing all the games on screen. We can't show that. We can't show that. Alright, I'm getting the go ahead. I'm getting the go ahead. You guys. Minecraft 2. Minecraft 2 is announced. They're finally doing a Minecraft 2. Play the Minecraft music. Minecraft 2. There it is. Yep, I didn't think we'd see it tonight. I didn't think we'd see any of these games. There's a game coming? Yeah, it was from PS2. I think they might have announced a sequel. It's a PS2 classic. <laughs> Babe. All right, I'm getting the go ahead from one of the executives that there is a big game uh, It's not working. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay, can you guys see it? Visit. <laughs> They're bringing this back for PS5? We are going to visit Harry and wow. we know right away if there's something going on and then we can tell our friends. Okay, let's visit Harry. This is a really good direct so far. Ladies and gentlemen, did you see it? Of course you didn't see it. This is really good. Because you can only hear me. Okay, listen carefully. Oh, no. I didn't think they would do chaos. this good. More and more animals are coming this way. You can hear the sirens. Ambulance, police, fire department. But Harry, what are you talking about? Babe, can you give me some water? Yeah, well. But where is the ambulance? Just and getting a lot of announcements. I don't hear any sirens also. You are right. You can't hear them. I'm just practicing. No, they can't see behind those pictures. Oh, that's how they, I don't know. They did the direct <laughs> weird this year. They put all this. They put all the games in front of the trailers this year. Oh wait, I'm getting. Oh, they're doing that. No, okay. I don't want anybody to. I don't want anybody to talk about this. I don't want anybody to say what you see here. What you see here, it stays here. You know what I'm saying? This cannot leave this room. This cannot leave this stream. What I'm about to be showing here. This is a world exclusive. This is a world exclusive. Nobody, I want everybody to swear to secrecy. Okay, I'm, I'm running a poll actually. And it's not really a poll, it's more of like a contract.
that's not right. This is false. This is uh, this is the ring PNG. That's not Elden Ring actually. This is not real. That's fake. This is fake. This is this is. All right, so that CS wasn't right. go to please. That wasn't real either. All right. I guess those were fake. I don't know what to say, you guys. I got bad info on this. I got bad info. <laughs> but listen, listen. I did get a I did get a rumor. Elden Ring 2 is going to be shown tonight. And you can, you can hold me to that. Elden Ring 2 is happening tonight. And that's a promise. That's a promise. Is this the game now? Oh, they're doing... Oh, this is interesting. Great Saint Flocks. Yeah, they're doing a weird one today. Is this the right thing? This, these are weird now. There's no talking or games, it's just like this. I guess they, it could be worse. It could be showing a Project Triangle game. A rectangle situation. Oh, is this that? Is this triangle strategy? Oh, that's what this is. Triangle and circle and well, X and square. All different kinds of shapes. That's what, you know, that's what PlayStation does. They look at an idea that Nintendo does and they take it and they they go, f they do times four. They do times four mode, more graphics. Nintendo says, listen, we have a triangle game coming out. They say, you know, we have a triangle game. We have a X game. We have a square game. We have a circle game all in one game. Okay, it's starting. Here we go. God of War. God of War. Here it is. Here's God of War. There's some very unexpected developments in your future. Shocking events that will change the He's course dead. of your life. <laughs> that last part might have been a hair dramatic. But there's lots of awesome updates and additions. Coming to the Crash Bandicoot 4, it's about time experience on PlayStation 5. Yeah. <laughs> hey everyone, I'm Lou Stutter, creative producer at Toys for Bob. I'm here to give you the feature rundown of Crash Bandicoot 4 on PS5. That includes 4K at 60 frames per second, adaptive triggers, 3D audio, and more. Let's make this fun. Picking up where Crash Bandicoot Warp left off, in Crash Bandicoot 4, it's about time, we find the evil masterminds Neocortex and Dr. Entropy escaping a once-thought inescapable interdimensional prison, leaving giant holes in the universe. What follows is a mind-bending adventure for Crash and his marsupial pals. 
we designed Crash Bandicoot 4 to leap off your screen, brimming with this bold, game is already vibrant out. environments and characters. Whoa. Crash Bandicoot has always looked pretty suave. This is already out. But wait until you see him spinning heads in native 4K at 60 frames per second. I don't give a shit about that. With the weight of the universe on your shoulders and probably some errands to run, there's little time to wait on loading screens. What? The DualSense wireless controllers bring adaptive triggers oh to God. your fingertips. You guys. So you can feel the blast of Neocortex's Look. DNA changing ray gun. Or feel the grip when you grapple a ton as hookshot. Hold on tight when you feel the boost of Crash's jetboard. Crash and really feel the suck when this. you vacuum as Dingo Dial. Looking to get fully immersed in the Crash Bandicoot universe? Crank it up to 11 and take your audio into an all new Thank dimension you, enhanced 3D audio. This game was pretty Achieving fun. the infamous 106% completion is the sign of a true Bandicoot master. But should our genetically mutated marsupial lose his way, leverage PlayStation 5 activity cards to track your progress and hit your goals for things like time trials, flashback oh, yeah, levels, could be dingo, and boss dingo. fights. I bet Entropy wishes he had that. Oh, you you can bring your incomplete save over Bandicoot from the PlayStation puzzle. 4 and use the activity just got cards this in to get for the to show. 106%. Oh, and one more thing. If you own this. the PS4 version of the game, an this upgrade is option is this available. Is Check out the PlayStation blog for full details. This Whether it's your first playthrough game. or your hundredth, there's no better time to experience Crash Bandicoot 4. It's Crash's about time ear. on Crash's PlayStation ear has been 5. Final. Ladies and gentlemen, Crash's ear. Welcome back, Crash. The gang's all here on today's right, here new edition go. of State of Play. Here we go. We've got some great updates lined up for you. Got him work. First, let's check out the latest on an eagerly anticipated game coming to the PS5 console this Got spring war. from PlayStation Studios. Here it is. Hey oh. everyone, we at Housemark are excited to give you this sneak peek at Returnal. Turn In Returnal, on. you will play as Selene, an Astra Scout, who crash lands on an alien planet, Atropos, after receiving a mysterious signal, White Shadow. Players These will guys make this inscrutable this is dark weird. planet in search for answers These guys make all and like, unfold uh, mysteries, shoot em which may point stuff. to a larger force at play. Dashing and quickly maneuvering These your guys way are always making shoot em ups. This looks return. like way bigger. New strand game. What? Turn it up man? All their games are they made With like the large Rezo variety gun. of enemies and the vast number of unique and, uh, movesets each possess. Yakuna, combat situations call. prove challenging no matter what the circumstances are. Death this will probably is be only good. the beginning. Every time you die and restart, the world will change. The map will be different. Enemies will appear in new locations and in differing numbers, so you have to think fast and adapt. Here you can see the use of the lightning alt fire, which is great for crowd control. This is one of many alt fires that you can acquire in the game. You will stumble across mysterious <coughs> devices that can grant rewards to the player. These will vary from weapons, consumables, and upgrades, and they can completely change the, the only thing is they, 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 they have never done like unique. a game on this level, you know? Like what these Besides fancy the graphics combat, and that looks like there's cutscenes or something that you area. never did something like We allow like players that. to piece together the puzzle that is the story of Selene as they venture deeper and deeper into Atropos and into her personal nightmare. That's... That can't be here. I think I am reliving my memories in that house, but not fully. They're corroded. Some parts are missing, others seem manufactured. But I can remember the torment, feeling like I was losing my mind. <sighs> There's no comfort here. No safe space. What is this? Exactly as I left it. 
It's PT. Love you done ready for a boy of war to go she just walked into the PT house. What was that? <laughs> what was that? Returnal lands on April 30th, and it's developed by the talented team at Housemark. Next, let's take a closer look at a high-impact new PS4 game called Knockout City. A new PS4 game? What? Hi, this is that I'm one Josh they showed at the Switch thing. We're an indie developer based in upstate New York, and we recently announced Knockout City. Oh no, this a is a team-based multiplayer action game for PS4 too. where rival crews settle their scores with epic dodgeball battles. Knockout City is easy to pick up and play, but there's a lot of depth here for those who've got the skills. In our 1v1 face-off mode, you'll go head-to-head -head in a constantly shrinking battleground, relying on your reflexes and abilities to knock out an opponent. A well-timed catch powers up the ball, making it's it easier like that to land they used to have on uh, Gary's mode. Use trick shots to lob a ball over a ledge or hook it around a corner. Fake a throw to mess up your opponent's timing and knock them out before they can recover. When you're in a tough spot with a ball flying your way, a last second dodge is the difference between getting knocked out and staying in the fight. Keep your wits about you and outplay your opponent to bring home a win. What's gonna be the next racket game? What's gonna be the Let's next multiplayer game that's actually mode. good? Teamwork makes the dream it's work been a dream work in Knockout City. If your crew is outmatched, a well-coordinated team can still dominate. Everything that comes out nowadays is like some Alley shitty Brawl, A new map thing. that you'll find in our upcoming crossplay beta. The special ball for this match is the Sniper Ball, which locks the onto targets from far across the map and wham! You can take them out before they have a chance to react. Beyond special balls, each map features a unique Hasn't mechanic. Been a good in Back Alley Brawl, you can hop into a tube and make a quick getaway or use them to sneak up on your opponents. Caught empty-handed? You can literally become the ball, a new Whoa, weapon for your you teammate. Oh, you can be the ball! Oh, that's cool. That's or risk cool it all. Thing. Charge up a teammate, launch them high into the air with an ultimate throw, and they'll land in a huge instant KO explosion. The team here at Velen has been obsessed with building this world over the last four years. Knockout City is coming out May 21st, and we'd love your help in our final stretch of development. Rally your crew and sign up for our crossplay beta at knockoutcity.com to play early on PlayStation. See you soon, brawlers. Balls 3D. I don't think this is not like Balls 3D. Balls 3D, that's an untouchable masterpiece. Time for something new. Here's your first look at an upcoming PS5 game from the team at Slow Clap. Slow Clap? Oh, this, I know this game. I know this game. Fortnite 2. This is the new Fortnite. Oh yeah, this is old boy. That's what this is. Oh, it's Hanzo. This is Hanzo. the debut of Sifu, coming to the PS5 console later this year. Now let's get an update on Solar Ash, an yeah. epic new PS5 adventure this? from Heart What's Machine. What's happening with Solar Ash? Am I right? Oh wait, I saw this actually. <laughs> I actually do know what this is. No, not Sifu. This is, no, not Sifu. Seafood, not seafood. Hey everyone, I'm Alex Preston. No, not director solar ass. You, you guys, guys not solar ass. Light Drifter. Today, solar I'm ash. Today I'm show you the first peek at gameplay for our new title, Solar Ash. Not solar ass. Solar Ash is a huge, stylish 3D platformer focused on speed, movement, and fluidity. 
The game All is right. set inside a giant black hole known as the Ultra Void, which has been consuming everything in its path. You play as Ray, a daring void runner who has decided to venture into this terrifying anomaly as a last ditch effort to save her home world. Ray is pretty extremely cool. agile, able to speed across the world with abilities akin to skating. On the ashen clouds, she can quickly cover great distances in our huge world. At its core, Solar Ash is a game about movement, and Ray has everything she needs to flow through the dangerous and unique world. <clears throat> it's really hard for little developers to make this kind of game. As you journey to save your planet, you'll find yourself face to face with grotesque and violent creatures. Our combat system is simple, fast, and fluid, built to empower players and encourage flow. It looks pretty cool, though. As you explore the Ultra Void, enemy encounters will scale to greater and greater sizes. Some of these creatures require speed and precise timing to defeat. Gravity rush? Ray will eventually need I to face the massive gravity sentinels rush. of this void. Wretched, starved beasts like? that hold the key to her quest. Solar Ash is Heart Machine's vision of the adventure platformer. The giant spaces, the feel of movement, the flow of combat, and the high stakes battles atop enormous beasts all with come together to bring you players something know. we think is incredible. You never know what's going to go on with these indie games. And more importantly, fun. Even this if they look really promising, you know, it could just be whatever. The Heart Machine team. We're excited to bring Solar Ash to PS5 and PS4 later this year. What other games did they do? I have never heard of that team. If you're a fan of scary games, this next one is for you. When I first found you, you oh, were nothing. This is too scary. You were small, pathetic. But now, you are more. Are you ready? Heck is this? Oh my god! Oh my god! They're doing it! They're finally doing it! Oh my god, they're doing it! Gregory, we can get you out of here. There it is. So together. 200 screens! 200 TV screens! They won't stop hunting you. None of them will stop hunting you. Oh my god. <laughs> this is a kind of rough. Oh, you go in the ball pit. Oh my you god, you go in the ball pit. I say. You will bring me what I want. And if you fail me, then you will. Both of you. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, a new character. Bugs Bunny. Security breach. There is more going on here than you what? realize. That's Five Nights at Freddy's. What, was that not actually Five Nights at Freddy's? That was a chilling new look at Five Nights at Freddy's Security oh. Breach. <laughs> Up next, let's take a tour of Oddworld Soulstorm. Hi, I'm Lauren Lanning, Creative Director at Oddworld Inhabitants. Today, I'm going to take you on a brief tour of our newest game, Oddworld Soulstorm. They've always known you would come. Do you know why you have? In Soulstorm, you reprise the role of Abe, accidental hero turned unlikely leader of an emerging revolution. 
as you do battle through weird and wonderful environments in an effort to escape the all-powerful and eternally greedy Gluckens. We really wanted to bring shorts. this world to life with the what we call 2.9D platforming, the bounty, which huh? adds much more depth and immersion for the player. This sense of connection is also reinforced through the use of the dual senses haptic feedback, as you'll now be able to feel Abe's there was heartbeat a, there was in high a weird alert one on and X situation. Like Munch's Odyssey or something. There are well over 1,000 fellow Bogakins really that you weird must try to save along the way, but they are far more than helpless workers looking to be saved. When used effectively, you'll be able to solve puzzles, harness their combined energy, and be given the tools they need to fight alongside you. And there will be times when the extra hands will be needed as you face off against an array of heavily armed enemies that will stop at nothing to find an N8 once and for all. They did like a remaster, didn't they remaster the old PS1 games of this? In order to stand a chance against this much larger threat, we gave Abe the ability to scavenge, loot, and pickpocket items from his surroundings and use them to craft an impressive arsenal of his own that he can share with others. You can also play as a non-lethal pacifist or an agent of chaos. We wanted you to have the choice. But there is one iconic ability for our shamanic protagonist, possession. This mystical power allows you to take control of your foes and use their strengths and weapons against them hmm? or use them to gain access to paths still ahead. Who's an agent of chaos? The Oddworld universe is a diverse place, and this means that there are some environments and situations that require a little more thought patience and stealth. This looks kind of fun. You'll find dark and dangerous caves, heavily guarded industrial sites, and ancient forgotten lands. Here we've built lots of opportunities for you to test your skills and find different ways to handle things. It won't be easy. If being hunted by an army backed by a shady and wealthy organization isn't bad enough, there are also more dangers in the forms of natural obstacles, ancient traps, trials against swarming dark creatures, and industrial hazards that must be dodged, crossed, and avoided. Ultimately, Abe's journey is one of hope, freedom, and truth. There is a rich and engaging narrative to discover in a world full of lies, and we've been able to bring our characters to life like never before. In true Oddworld fashion, your actions in-game will decide the fate of Abe and all those you manage to liberate along the way, and we can't wait to see what you will do. World Soul Storm. Alright, I'll try it down. It looked pretty funny. That was the latest on Oddworld Soul Storm. And here's some exciting news. Active PlayStation Plus members will get the PS5 version for no extra cost starting in April. PS5 version for no extra cost starting in April. Moving on. I it's time this. to catch up with Kina Bridge of Spirits, a gorgeous new adventure we last saw in the June PS5 showcase. I remember this one. This is with the little, the little guys. Those guys. Where's the sound effects? Here, I'll make the sound effects. I'll do the sound effects. The rats are quite fond of you. They're usually timid. <laughs> Something tells me you did not come to our village looking for forest creatures. Hello, spirit. I seek passage to the Sacred Mountain Shrine. Our village is bound to the Shrine's energy. But that power faded long ago. What kind of game is this? It looks like it'd be like a 3D platformer. You know what this is? This is the new Star Fox Adventures. See how she has a staff? Kingdom Hearts? Tangled in the tragedy. I think this is the new uh 
Star Fox Adventures. We must help these spirits if you wish to reach the mountains. It's okay. Just you have to go now. Yeah, it's pretty fancy graphics. Say this pretty barn good, don't you say that? <laughs> she say pretty barn good. Oh my god, it's the Grunker Beast. You have to fight the Grunker Beast. Kenna. Path of the Spirit Guide is a lonely one. All these games are cross-platform. They're for PS4 and PS5. Now let's settle in for a stylish new look at Deathloop, a PS5 first-person shooter developed by the team at Arcane. Oh. What? You'll never, ever break this loop. There's no never here. Just you, me, and the rest of these maniacs. Because <laughs> nobody can get a PS5. <laughs> This PS5 still sold this out every week. This is Frank's matinee. This little ditty goes out to the handsome asshole trying to break our loop. Colt, the visionaries are ready to it's dance. It's still sold out? Are you? I don't know. I guess it's gonna be a while to get PS5 This one looks pretty fun. Look at the guys that made. They made the sound it, right? Face to face with the guns. Up against all the odds. And I'm the only one. This is like some James Bond music. <laughs> really push this game over the top it needs like a really goofy a really stupid goofy story they gotta bring back the stupid really stupid story and so is rambling frank they gotta get back to just making really stupid really just dumbass fucking storylines like hitman blood money bring that bring bring back that kind of storyline you know Bring back just the fucking Before we leave, story how about a huge game. update for one of 2020's most celebrated games? Like the new Hitman? New Hitman. Quickly! Not a good storyline, I know. Jesse! Barrett! Where you been? What is this? Tifa! Help me! 
Come on, let's push it past the red line! Now it's my turn! Doesn't look right. A touching reunion. This does not well, look guys, like it was. Uh, finally made it to Midgar. Sometimes when you go from like 30 FPS to 60 FPS, it just it screws up the look. You know. My name is Yuffie, Materia Hunter and Elite Special Forces Operative for the new Wutai government. We'll prove to our common enemy that Wutai is not to be trifled with! Members of Avalanche, we got this! I'm back. Ah, there you are. Someone's been expecting you. What took you? Oh, this is the Sorry next about one. that. Anyway, it's nice to meet you. I'm Sonon Kasakabe. Where's Cloud? We lost him. You what? He will be okay, though, right? Well... Of course he will. They're the ones who blew up the reactors. Cool. Should we say hi? No, better not. After what they've done, you've got to assume Shinra's on their tail. Look, a Moogle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Stop! Classic. The classic got Moogle help. trick. He got him with the classic. What the fuck? Let the hunt begin. Huh? <laughs> Get down here, Bert. What the fuck is this? Graphics on PlayStation 5. Oh my god, it's exactly the same. It's in 60 FPS this time. Finally hitting us with the advanced fog effects. Oh my god! The f oh my god! Look at look at the lighting on the PlayStation 4 version. It looks like shit. It looks terrible. I look at the left. And, and amazing. One of the most incredible things I've ever seen. Look at that! Look at that PlayStation 4. Oh oh, this is great. Now this is beautiful. Show me the PlayStation 4 one. Now. Oh, this is great. This is PS5, right? Quality of life. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Normal. Normal difficulty added. Better load times.
it was already the first part of like a like a 10 part remake of a game that's already out but now there's like a there's like a bonus episode now it's gonna get now it's gonna go off the fucking rails like crazy it's gonna go so crazy they're bringing in like little episodes and shit now it's gonna get it's gonna get insane there's gonna be like there's gonna be at least 14 different games of remaking final fantasy 7 it's gonna be like kingdom hearts it's gonna get insane You're gonna have to end that up was playing the like a. Of Final Fantasy VII. You're gonna have to play like a fucking. There's gonna be like a battle royale phone game that you're gonna have to play to get the storyline now. That's gonna be the next step. See you next time. PlayStation. That was it. That was it? <laughs> that was <laughs> That was the big That was the big game? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, that was not it. That was not it. That's that can't truly Billy be donkey. it. That's so that was it. That can't be it. That can't truly be it. Where's where's Tomba? Where's Tomba three? That was it. Oh man. There's no more games anymore, you guys. I don't think they're I don't think they're making games anymore. I think they turned it all off. That was it. That really was it. All right. Well, time to put on my favorite show. Now, I think this is really where PlayStation will start to win. Nintendo did better. Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't even know. I guess Nintendo had more games. <laughs> I guess they had more. Oh man, that was a, that was a that was a rough one. Let's see. Let's see if PlayStation can redeem themselves here. Previously on the tester. It's fight time. You will choreograph a fight scene. Hey, hey, this is awesome. It will be your job to create new fighting characters. You came out as the weakest. <coughs> There's big. Sky there he is. You gave the big best shrimp by far. And for me, Sue's Kaiden. Big you were stack. Really the star of your Where team. is my goddamn Taco Bell? Jay Tight, your character felt was pretty underdeveloped. I don't really have the option to give second chances. Your game ends here. Ninja, you came out as the weakest player. They kicked off Ninja. Team. Your game also ends here. They were all crying. They were all crying Selected when you got kicked from off. Thousands of applicants. Dedicated gamers match skills in a series no of challenges no to earn the chance three. for a job at PlayStation. PlayStation. On the tester. Yeah, that was fucked up that there was no NAC 3. I think they're saving it. I don't think PS5 can Everyone's handle NAC 3. J -tight and Ninja went home. I think they'll probably wait till PS6 to do a NAC 3. Because I don't think the technology is there yet. I'm just so shocked and upset and really taken aback by another double elimination. Like both of those boys, they busted their ass. Challenge after challenge. That sucks because they're so deserving to be here. It feels a lot different in the house. It definitely feels really empty. I'm starting to realize that, you know, like, I really do want this. You know, like, at yeah. first, I didn't even think I was going to get this far at all. She was really sad that they got rid of big, big... What was his? Big stack. Big stack. She was really sad that they got rid of Big Stack. She's fucking crying. She is really getting into the show. She, when she saw Big Stack get kicked out, she was she was broken. And especially because we lost such great people, like I just need to step it up. Like I want to win. Hey guys, we got a message, yo. 
Oh. Message! Message! Good morning, gamers. They say talk is cheap, but in the gaming world, a simple miscommunication can cost you big. So today, oh. you'll fight a war of words, from your lips to the gods' ears. Break into teams of two and get dressed in the wardrobe provided. What does that mean? From your lips to the gods' ears. To the God gods. of war. Oh. God of God war. Kratos smash. God of war. You got to be. Love Kratos, man. Kratos is amazing. He vicious. He ruthless. He will be destroyed if I must go against you. Let's do it. Yeah, like yeah that's crazy. Oh, oh my man. Mom. We see nothing but togas. We're thinking, you know, it can't God possibly be a physical challenge God because war. how often do you see people in togas doing anything physical? Yeah, first of all, what are the teams? It's me I and think, Diddy. Yeah, I mean, we I already decided oh. to pick that. Oh. If you uh, hate me. No, 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 I got no complaints. It's already apparent who the teams are going to be. We have Achilles and Diddy. They're really close friends, so that's a This is just team. like God of War. Quasha Monster and this is Christy, just like God they're very war. close with each other. That's another natural team. I'm a great goddess. I, I feel no, this is the PlayStation Direct deal. With Siskaiden, she this is a part of it. Knows she's gonna be working with me, although I kind of go into. A I think they're gonna game. unveil like, a game okay. at the end of this. I sort of equate Siskaiden to be sort of like a tornado. If she gets too close, you kind of get sucked into her bullshit. I don't want people to see my panties. Yeah, well, they already seen them. I hope what they the like heck? it. Poor reality bears the brunt of it. Good luck getting out of that. Here's my question. How do we get this thing on? What is going on here? Man, trying to put that toe on sucks, man. I was like, do I do it? Like a diaper? Like, do I put it in between my legs? Tie it around my neck? Hey. Did you do this? No, she did it for me. Oh, well, I was like, oh. Achilles Mike will not be defeated. Kratos does this some, is like, just like God of War. Like crazy shit. Like, this is just like, just like God of War. With how the challenges have been going, we have no idea what to expect. I look out the window and there it is. I see a beachfront. I yep. see water. That's the level like, from God of War. Oh God, we're, like, we're in Santa Monica. And so I was yep. just like praying. I was like, please let it be on the beach. Please let it be on the beach. Welcome to beautiful Santa Monica, California. Only one of you will earn hey, the coveted position of production associate at world famous Santa Monica Studio. They're going to have to fight. Uh, they're going to have to fight Odin. Which is only a stone's throw away from where we are today. Not a bad backyard, huh? But first, you'll have to survive our colossal God of War inspired challenge. Let's say hello to our panel. Joining us as always is Mr. Brent Goki, Brent Senior Goki. Release Manager, Global yeah, First Party Quality Yeah, Brent Goki. And our very own gamer goddess, Adrian Curry. Oh my God, and Adrian guest Curry. Today is a man who began his career in the gaming industry as a tester. He's one of the creative directors at Santa Monica Studio and was the design director on God of War 3. Please welcome Todd Pappy. Hi, Todd guys. Pappy. Welcome. So obviously, you guys will be working with our team. We're looking for young up and comers. So do your best. Word. Now on to today's challenge. To be successful in the gaming industry, you must be a fast and efficient communicator. Yep. Someone who can transmit clear messages quickly and effectively and also receive and decode. Mm -hmm. One mm -hmm. team at a time will each take a spot on opposite sides of that partition attached by a rope leash. On both sides of the field are scattered a variety oh, of God pick that of War inspired up. objects. Yeah, pick that hammer Each team member must race around their side of the beach and find objects. They have to, f they have to fight. Each I think this is finally where they're gonna do the death match. I think this is just gonna do the death match here, right? Objects to bring to the table in hopes to make an exact match with their teammate. Simple enough, right? Of course not, because both team members will be blind. What? I hate not Just being able like to God see. Just like God of War. I rely completely on my right? sight. Me and Christy are really good with communicating, but I already know that I'm going to be a little bit at a disadvantage because I can't see. The team that makes the most exact matches in four minutes will Can win. Can you see in God of War? In the event of a tie, whoever makes the most matches in the fastest time will win. The winners of today's challenge are not automatically safe from elimination. Instead, they will go where few mortals have now gone before. Epic. Behind the scenes of Santa Monica Studio with Todd Pappy to sample an unreleased game 
still in the development process. What? Whoever wins this challenge today gets a trip inside the studio where, where we could be working. If this isn't the best prize ever, I mean, I don't know what is. I gotta get it. You'll get a chance to impress your future coworkers. They're gonna play the new Knack. This was back when Knack was in development. Which is extremely important because Todd and his coworkers will choose one gamer to be safe at elimination tonight. The losers will face the panel and someone will go home tonight. So let the games begin! Oh! Achilles, Sky D, you two are up first. Stakes are extremely high, but um, being partnered with Diddy, I think we're gonna go in here and kick ass again, <laughs> and I'm confident. So, you know, it's, we're gonna do it. Achilles! Sky Diddy! Ready? Bad dude. Go! All right, cool, let's go. Soon as the channel Grab the horse, man, grab the horse. Arms, long legs, so I just try to find grab the anything chalice. I feel different from the sand. I have one item. Pick there you go. Back. There you go. All right, I've got one. That's a horse. You just carry that one. All right. Throw that just at him. That Throw that I at him. Have something. Hey, I got the basket. I got I, the basket. Okay. I got the basket. Are go they back. on the Let's same team? All right, I'm at the partition. That's a match. I'm going back. Just go back. Go back. Hey, I've got a like a shield or a frisbee. I have an arrow, like a bow and arrow. Okay, keep that one. Keep oh, that one. Oh, this is just like God of War. This is crazy. I've got a horse. I got a bottle and like a frisbee or a shield. I have a frisbee shield. All right, go back. Go back. That's a match. <laughs> I got a skull. Go. That's a match. I'd have developed a different kind of sense as I'm in the sand. Oh. I'm in Hades' I was low-key cheating because I seen with the third eye right oh. above my brain. What's I done? That's a match. 30 seconds. Time's running out, and I'm like, okay, we just need to get something. All right, bring it back. He's using his gamer Five, site. That's true. Four, He's using his down, Witcher sense. They did their Witcher Diddy sense in real life. Matches. I'm thinking five matches in four minutes of what we just went That's through insane. is not going to be easy. And the level insane. of communication that me and Sky Diddy displayed was damn near flawless. The other teams are in trouble. Squaja Monster, Christy Pride. That was flawless. That was flawless communication. That's what it's like when you go up against a very highly ranked uh, team. And like in, in Counter-Strike, they're like doing call-outs. They're like, yeah, I got the horse. I have Poseidon's axe. So you lost to EA play this I got year. the horse. That was, that was, and then they tapped into their Witcher sense and turned on his third eye. That's when they started Are you ready? Running. Go! They will never, this team, these, these players will never be able to defeat them. I'm sorry to say it. My mouse just died. <laughs> My mouse doesn't exist anymore. Uh oh. Okay, here we go. I'm back in action. I've been on the They'll never be able like to win. They'll never be able to win. That if you just make one little mistake, like you're gone. So definitely this time, like I'm not gonna make any mistakes. Look at them. So Look at them. There's no teamwork. The There's no teamwork. There's no communication. I'm pretty sure I have a frisbee. I found a twig and then I keep going around a little bit because I want to be efficient and I don't want to miss anything. Did you find a frisbee? Still only got one thing right now. Okay, I have something that feels like a skull. I'm just sweeping everywhere, kind of feeling around. Every time I'm finding an object, I'm describing Oh, she's got it. the it duck. Sucks. It feels like a dog toy, like a whale or something. I found a wicker <laughs> basket type object. I found a bottle, like a plastic bottle. Okay, what, what do you have? They have no like matches. Right nothing. Nothing. They have nothing. Like, Quasia, how can you have nothing? How fast are you going? Are you in the middle already? I'm going all over. They got nothing. Finding, like, they got items, nothing. And, you know, I have a twig. Are you crawling? I'm starting to freak out a little bit because I'm like, oh, my God. I have only found, like, one item. Not true gamers. Oh, wait, 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 Where's the witcher sense? Where's okay, the witcher seven. sense? Skull. That's a match. That's okay, one match. I have no. I have nothing but a stick. I don't even know if this is I, part of it. I, I think I have a stick, too. They cheated. I put the stick down. <laughs> they went around and F just found all the items, and, and now they're just picking them up. Okay, what else did you find? <laughs> that's it. That's it. Hey, go, go, go. I'm going back. 30 seconds. They just I'm watched the other guys go and go. That's I'm stupid. Really we'll just cheat. I'm because three minutes and 30 seconds have already gone by. You know, I'm scrambling through the sand just trying to find anything. The first people got to figure the whole game out. Then everybody else knows how to cheat it. deep, and she literally has nothing. Oh, I got a frisbee. Okay, come back, come back, come back. Five, four, They only got one match. Three. You've got to play Smash or Mario Kart with Hassan. That's Sometimes he is extremely bad. Big drama and coming baby Quasha love. And you, Pride, you have two matches. Two matches. Small. Let these 
giant snake. I've been running around. Stop Hassan is bad at Mario Kart. In this challenge, I really didn't have to be that careful. There was just big shit lying around everywhere. She's guided. Reality payoff. You ready? Yes. Ready. He just got to learn that Bowser is one, one of the chaos. most powerful Bowser characters. Something. Oh, he's got the Blade of Something Chaos. A foot! And a foot! Yeah, I got it the foot. Foot! Here! Uh, the table! Put your hand on it! Put the yeah. foot! Put That's the foot from God of War! Something else! A hammer! That's the foot of, uh... The foot of bottle? Zeus. I have a disc! Bring the, the disc frisbee. Back. Bring the disc back! Match! The match. frisbee of, of match. Gandalf. We were able to do two matches so fast! Oh, this, this is, is awesome. the dream... This is the dream the team. This is Match. the dream team Doesn't here. Match. You got the hammer? Yes, let me look for it. Son. Yeah, hammer. Match. Doesn't match. The hammer okay, of I've Alfred. Got a water bottle and a strap. Look for those. I just feel like four is not enough. They're so going crazy. Going more objects. I put a bottle of water. This is the ultimate the team. And I put the bottle of water on top of the table. I have my hand over there waiting for him to do the same. Hold on. I got that. I got that. <laughs> I had it. I recall putting it underneath the table. And I'm just going underneath the table looking everywhere I can. I feel absolutely nothing but sand. 30 seconds. Come on, reality. He lost oh. it. 30 seconds. He lost he said it. Put it there. Then it's, it's been 10 seconds. <laughs> reality, where's the bottle? Where, where is the bottle? I have no idea where it is. Come on. He lost it. We have no time. And I oh, have use your witcher sense. Bottle. Five. Come on. What's on the table? Three. He's gonna be you got pissed. Four matching items. <laughs> it's the most demoralizing experience ever. I had the bottle on the table the whole time. Not a gamer. Not a true gamer. Gamer? That's the first thing. That's the first place we look. We go, oh, well, where's the bottle? On the table. That would that true gamer would have looked on the table first. Just in the chaos of everything, I must have placed it on top of this table. It was a critical error on my part. It's my fault. <laughs> I can't believe he, he said he had it. This can cost us so freaking much. Okay, gamers, you all had four minutes to find as many matches as possible. One Quasi people Monster, only found Christy one. Pride, your team had two matches. Two so matches. So it really came down to two teams. So with five matches, the winner is Achilles and Sky Diddy. It was by the hair of our chinny chin chins, but uh... Why did they have to announce that? <laughs> was the team that got the less... <laughs> Were they gonna say the team with the least matches won? <laughs> Were they gonna go at... Shoulda, shoulda got less matches. Those people win. Uh, me and Sky Diddy are going to Santa Monica Studios, and I can't be happier. Achilles and Sky Diddy, it will be up to you to stand out because they will decide which of you will be safe from elimination tonight. But here is the tester twist. You must choose one of your competitors to accompany you to Santa Monica Studio. Remember, Aww. whomever you choose will also get the opportunity to earn individual immunity by impressing Todd and his team. So let's give each of them a moment to plead their case drama. as to why they should join you on this awesome reward. This is drama. Reality Pals, we'll start with you. Man law. Come on, three guys, there's three girls. I say we split it up. Even Steven. <laughs> Guy code. Guy code. I mean, this is the opportunity to go in there and wow your, your future employer. I mean, guy code? That's not gonna work on me. I, I'm a lot deeper than that. Susan yeah, he's a lot deeper than that. Yeah, he should have known. He should have known that the guy code would never work in that situation. You can just you can just look at that guy and see that it's never gonna work. He should have hit him on the head with a frying pan. Just Kaiden, man. Um, I think I did my best. I want to go there because if I get to talk with these people, I got the job. This was the best prize by far, and it would mean the most to me. And I think they know I know my shit about video games, Geico. and they know that I'm for real. Well, I've been on the like the winning team just for, like, about challenge. Geico. It's just an amazing opportunity. Like I want to go. Achilles, Sky Diddy, you have a moment to talk amongst yourselves. Decide which competitor you will take with you. All right. Well, what do you think is gonna make the most impression? Ah. Okay, Achilles, Sky Diddy, I need your answer, boys. Um, I think it's gonna be Christy. 
Shut, oh my God. <laughs> Did I hear that right? They picked me. All I can do is just cry and hug the shit out of them. Sky Diddy, Achilles, Christy Pride, a private Ford Explorer is waiting to take you to Santa Monica Studio. Where right. one of you could be this working is the PlayStation the Direct. associate on an unannounced PlayStation 3 blockbuster. What are you That's guys saying? Like what is this? Only prize I want. This we is the new the game staff. they did. That's all I want. One of you will be safe, and the rest of you will face the panel. I'll see you all at elimination. The walk of shame. I'm pretty frustrated. It, it wasn't even her fault. It was mine. I definitely blew it. Uh, that means tonight I'm probably up. He shouldn't invoke. He shouldn't invoke the bro code. He forgot the about the for woman code. Is the winners get to go to Santa Monica Studio. How's it going? And Achilles and Scott Eddie picked me to go to Santa Monica with them. Here are your badges. Let's go. This is like paradise. And then you see the crew, and I mean, it's just, it's awesome. So welcome. Let me introduce you to some of the team. So right here, we got Mark Simon. He's Mark Simon. Designer. Chris O'Neill, senior level designer. What? Chris O'Neill? He is combat designer. We got Jason McDonald, our lead combat designer. I get oh, to meet Jason some McDonald. Of the people that are hands-on, like birth of these games. That's the guy and who came out with fantastic. the. Uh, he came out with the move where Kratos goes. <laughs> yeah. I think there's only been five people before you guys, so these were focus testers. We got a chance to play a secret game unreleased that the world ain't even <laughs> experienced yet, man. <laughs> oh my what God. What is it? This game is amazing. I'm what is speechless. it? You can't even, it's unfathomable. What is it? <laughs> when I get back to the loft, I just had that feeling that I was going home. So I, I packed my stuff. Chris. That's Madden. <laughs> They're playing Madden. She's not there. So, you know, I feel a little bit alone at this point. God damn it. It might be a double elimination tonight. Ah, man. When I get back to the loft, I'm I'm defeated. I feel abysmal, and I, I feel that I'm going home tonight. <laughs> it was a hey, game that was already out. How you doing? It was an old Madden game. <laughs> it was Madden 1997, <laughs> and they said it was a new game. Reality fails. Reality is just beating himself out, and it's just melting my heart. So since Sackboy always makes me feel better, I figure it will make him feel better. That means so sad. He's trying to cheer you up. I've never wanted to rip a sack boy's head off so badly in my entire life. I appreciate you trying to cheer me up, sack boy, but I, I can't take it. Mm. <laughs> Dang, this game is crazy. Game is fantastic, man. It just feels so great to be one of the first to experience a title. What so is it? I want to talk one on one. What is the game? We'll switch you guys out. Achilles, we're going to start with you. This is my chance to shine, to show them why you know I belong here. What'd you think? It's, it's, it's awesome. Cool. What makes you think that you'll be? <laughs> That's all it comes down to. They just play test. They just play the game for a little bit and they go, "What'd you think?" Ah, uh, it's really good. All right, you're hired. You're hired. <laughs> Great addition to the team. You know, I mean, I, I've been in the military for eight years, and you know, when I'm not doing that, you know, this—I mean, I'm, I'm on the games. I got a clear vision. I'm innovative, and I'm just a well-rounded person. So, we're gonna call in the next person. Obviously, I wish you best of luck. Thank you. So, I think the sit-down went well. I was myself, you know, uh, energetic, you know, confident. They're gonna spring. They're gonna have. It's gonna be All like right, a Scott, twist. They're on, gonna be like, yeah. Uh, just that me, was the original just Mario me. Brothers. That's been out for a long, long time. Sense, man. We didn't make that. Ah. I can't explain it, man. They're gonna I'm catch so him. They're gonna There's catch him in a gamer's trip. Like, uh, what do you think that you'll bring to the team? Um, I feel um, it's like the little big planet opening. Everybody dreaming off in the world, got a wild little ideas, all throwing out their brain and all that crap. That's why I feel I have a lot of creativity in my brain to like to share. We all got a different brain, and they can work with me at unlocking a special kind of creativity that I have in me. Where do you want to go in the future? Do you want to be a designer, an environment artist? A design artist. Can you draw? In my brain. Not a super artist. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> you got to work on that then. <laughs> we thank you for your time. We wish you best of luck. I felt a little intimidated, you know, when I was talking to him. But hopefully he liked my energy and what I could bring to the table, you know, interests him. Hi, Christy. Hey there. Hi. I'm nervous. I'm meeting a bunch of rad developers. What would you want to do here? Um, 
you know, I'm a writer, I like to write, and I draw here and there. If there's one thing that's critical to storytelling, just one thing, what is that thing? The characters and character relations, I feel, are important. Like, all I could think about was how dumbfounded I was to be in the studio. Well, thank you for your time. Okay, thank you. It's a pleasure meeting you. Sure, thank you. If it was a real interview, and the I was girl won. And they also the girl Scott won. getting an Achilles, which makes me a little nervous because she didn't win. She didn't win the horse challenge, but now she won this part. The worst. All right, guys. She just went in and said the characters, and now she won. She already beat these guys out. I know that you guys have elimination tonight, so we're going to send you back to Loft. We wish you the best of luck. Oh, man. Coming in here and just the feel of this place. This is what I'm fighting for. I'm just, like, so focused right now. This is how the interviews went. The first guy went, yeah, that game was fun. The second guy went, uh, I want to design the environments, but I can't draw. I can only draw my brain. And then the lady said, uh, I'm going to write the story, the characters. And then she went off of that. She didn't even find a horse. She didn't even find a horse while blindfolded. And now they're getting tricked into hiring this lady that can't even find a horse blindfolded. I'm ready for the next challenge. This is bullshit. This is a bullshit show. Hey guys. Badass, badass. It really, yeah. it was it all really, right, I guess. It really it was you're, you're drunk. I know yeah, you guys. You are honestly, right. like they were. That's just a sight. Whoa. Oh, that's just a sight. Like I know it was awesome. They were like, it was awesome. I don't know if I want to hear this or not. I'm conflicted. So down to earth, so chill, like I'm jelly. It's like, like I, I was pretty jealous. I think I lost out. Not just as potentially professional, but as a gamer, I'm I'm sad that I got to miss out on their next project. This is the PlayStation that's, that's show. Me. Oh, 99. I'm serious, man. I packed all my Hi. shit already. Is this Mario? No, go. this is not Mario. Keep the confidence up. Even on the winning team, every single this time. This is PlayStation. For you to say they would have won without you. This is how good the graphics are on PlayStation now. This is actually a game I'm playing. Look at how realistic the graphics is. It's foolish. After what Achilles said, I, I decided, you know what? He's right. I'm not just going to let it go because of one stupid mistake. So I'm not going to go down without a fight. Keep your head up. Now watch. I'm going to get a double kill here. I feel pretty nervous going into elimination. I did make a mistake tonight, but this is the first time I've ever f***ed up. And, you this know, is I a cutscene, actually. I do not feel good about elimination at all. Up until this point, I've been pretty successful. Today definitely set me back a lot, and I think I just got to defend myself. Good evening, gamers. Good evening. Today's challenge tested your ability to communicate effectively. Achilles and Sky Diddy proved they have a way with words. The two of you chose Christy Pride to what join you. What did the going Santa to Monica the studio, studio have to do Whoever with anything? Whoever impressed them the most earns immunity for tonight, and will be safe from elimination. Let's hear Todd's decision. First, it was a pleasure meeting all of you. I wish you best of luck in the future, no matter what. But one of you stood out and was mature, well spoken, and answered every single question that we threw at you. So the person with immunity tonight is Achilles. Winning immunity today, it feels wonderful. If I lost every single challenge before this one, this one would be the most important. Congratulations, Achilles. You are the only one safe from elimination. He named his whole name after God of War. That's why they're just going to pick this guy. He literally changed his name to Achilles before this show to get hired by the God of War people. This guy went all out. The rest of you are not so lucky. Todd, I was curious. What did you think of Sky Diddy's performance? Sky Diddy, I love your passion. <laughs> wouldn't he use Very Kratos? That was too obvious. But I'm wondering, he wouldn't, he wouldn't change it to Kratos. Like that that's, the, that's too crazy. Sky Diddy's a clown. When you're talking with corporates, they don't want to see you clowning. I'm concerned if you can't switch it off, it might wear thin, but hopefully you do have that other side. She calls Sky Diddy a clown. Wants to work hard, go to it. I know how to turn everything off and on when I, when I need to. I'm grown. I ain't gonna just act stupid and act goofy and everything 12 hours a day. I gotta get the job done. This, this is my mission. I kind of want to move no, on no, no. to the He's team too goofy. Won. He's too goofy. Reality, Kick him off. Kick him off. Today? The blame is entirely on me. Uh, Kick this team. guy off. Absolutely. Kick him off. There's no doubt about it. And it would be a shame if I go home over some olive oil, that's for sure. One thing that Kick I was extremely off. surprised by was when they were deciding 
who to pick to go to Santa Monica, you said, oh, pick me, guy code. Man law. <laughs> He's getting kicked off. He's getting kicked off from the... <laughs> they, they hit him with the slow motion replay of him saying man law. <laughs> you missed it. <laughs> they're, they're showing the slow-mo replay of him saying bro code. Now they're going to kick him off for that. Come on, three guys, there's three girls. Uh -oh. So happened? we split it up. Even Steven. <laughs> I was extremely surprised by that. I thought that was kind of childish. I think reality uh -oh. is a little bit too juvenile for this. It doesn't seem like his heart is all there. I don't know if 100% convinced that you want this job. Automatically, I think, oh, crap, I'm going home. It makes sense to me. And <laughs> this guy always brings up something. <laughs> he kicks him off or that. They'll say, like, one stupid thing, and he'll go, remember when you said, uh, remember when you said that, uh, you look like a little lizard? I don't think you really take this show seriously. I'm kicking you off. And it was really a lack of professionalism on my part. That's this guy's out of there. This guy's got to go. Any further from the truth. There is probably nothing I want more than to no. work at Santa Monica Studios. This guy's got to really go. Wish He's got to go. Said that earlier. I do too. It's definitely another slip up of mine today. And to say something like that in front of Todd Pappy is embarrassing and unprofessional. Moving on to the team. Bro code. Loss. Get him out of there. What Get him out of there. Um, I you don't talk about the bro code. weight of um, that loss upon my shoulders. I did go in assuming that the items were a lot smaller than what they were. You see how he fucked up was he he let on, he let on all these women onto our bro code. Now he's just putting it out there for everybody to discover. I think we got to get him out of there and then we got to silence this man. See, it's funny you mentioned the size because I don't, I don't think the size was really an issue because Christy's like, I have a basket, a frisbee. She's calling out things that are yeah. obviously bigger yeah. in size. When you really look at it just today, like I really did. She would not, she would not be a good, uh, she would not be a good worker because she couldn't find the frisbee in the sand. Screw up. Like I'm, I'm, I'm bracing myself. Like I don't want to go home, but. But I will own up to the fact that I did make the mistake. I think that's a good trait, you know, for a leader, taking that responsibility. After hearing you say that, I'm, I'm kind of curious, you know, reality pales. Seems like she really wants it. I guess I'm concerned that yeah. you don't really want the job. And yeah, maybe... you don't want the job. This guy's not even crying. This guy isn't even crying. He's out here talking about the bro code. He can't find the olive oil. He says, bro code, can't find the olive oil in the same day and not even crying? Get him out of there. Get him out of there. You're just here to win the competition, the prize. I've Kick him out. This Kick this man out. My life. Nope. And I would, I would pick myself over He's never played a game. Yet. He's never played the game. You know, it's getting to the point where we can't, <laughs> we can't be friends the whole time. I'm, I'm backed into a corner. I got to fight my ass out. We got to fight each other for this. It's time to get, get new faces on. I'm, I'm putting mine on now. Reality, if you were in our shoes, who would you eliminate then? I guess I'd have no choice but to say Quadra. Up until today, I've I've proven myself pretty worthy, I think. Yeah. We all got a passion while we're here. It's I about, it's, like it's each other. I'm not who, saying that's, that's cool. I can like each other, that's cool. It's about who, who proves it, though. Yeah. What's critical for me, honestly, if you would have said something more along the lines of what Christy said, I would have picked you. Yeah, I agree, and I owned up Basically. to that. Between his his mistake and the challenge costing yeah, them man. the win. He's trying to turn him. He's trying he to he's trying to do a turnaround. He he's trying to do the Texas he turnaround. Said it, he said it perfectly last night. The time for second chances is over, and that was that was your one shot to get in there and meet who you could be working with. There's more than one person asking for a second chance. Of course, of course. Sukaiden, what do you think? Honestly, I would like to kick out the people I know can beat me up. He knows his material. He's a great gamer. Of course they want it out of the house. Like, come on, why would you keep somebody who can kick your ass in the end? Even though Siskaiden is really telling the judges she wants me to go home because she looks at me as a threat, it's actually a compliment. At this moment, I'm so grateful to oh, Siskaiden. The, the I, I around. She's guys. doing the trick kind of around. Speaking up. We talked a lot <laughs> Big before this elimination. <laughs> I don't really think, 
you know, our opinions changed. Quaja, it sounds like you're popular within the house. It sounds like you're liked, but you're on losing team. Uh, you performed the worst. Couldn't find the frisbee. And uh, I'm sorry. Your game ends here. Oh my god, her game is over. Her game is over. I can't believe her game is over. I'll do it. I guess I'm like everybody. <laughs> to be honest, I didn't even think I would make it this far. I kind of actually exceeded my expectations here. You know, I never really thought of myself as somebody. She brought out the big guns. She brought out the big guns of the crying, but she couldn't. She couldn't find the the frisbee in the sandbox. Get her out of there. Get her out of there. Not a gamer. As somebody who was tough enough to be able to hold their own against such amazing people, but I'm thankful that I got a chance to have this experience. I just should have picked up the horse. So much more confidence in myself so much more self-worth that I made it this far. I can go home knowing that I am capable of so much more than I think I am. Congratulations. You're all still in the running for the job at Santa Monica Studio. The $5,000 signing bonus, the Sony 3D television, PlayStation 3, and the 2012 Ford Focus Titanium. But who's powered up? And who is running low on lives? Good night. <laughs> This elimination was such a close call. <laughs> Despite the judges telling us we have no more second chances, they give me a second chance. And that means I'm on life support. From here on out, I gotta go big or go home. Next who's powered up and who's running out of lives, you guys? I think right now Achilles is powered up. And uh, that one guy... Olive oil, guys. He's running out of lives. He's low on lives right now. He's got a low gamer score right now. This show is getting crazy. It's getting so crazy. Shall we watch another one? Should we do one more? I gotta go to the bathroom now. This show is getting good. I'll be right back, though. I'll be right back.
I'm back. Previously on The Tester. I found a bottle. Each team member must find God. Got to get in there. I said. I... This elimination was such a close call. Quasha Monster ultimately went home. This I'm still in the loft. Game. This show I'm is now getting crazy. by a very thin thread. I had to fight this for it, guys. Crazy. Oh, no. I had to fight for it. It was either me or her. Wait. Wait. I, I lost my water. Oh, shit. I'll be right back. Uh, all right, I'm back. Oh, fuck. Wait, one second. I'll be right back. I forgot something else. All right, let's go. I love Quaja. And listen, what I said, I promised her that I would defend her. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna go back on my word. Yeah, I get it. Had she not done as poorly as she had, I would be home and not hurt. And we knew it was gonna come down to the two of us. I'm a true both gamer. Of us what our can backs. I say? And the house I'm was, true was pretty empty without her around, and uh, I felt responsible for that. Chrissy, are we cool? You sure? This is how you know I'm a true gamer. It's, right it's here. hard for me to see her go too. My best friend went home, and she was my biggest supporter in the house, and with her gone, like, I definitely feel it. I'm definitely feeling really down. She had left me a note, which <laughs> didn't help. And where is it? Where is it? It's on the table. Of course. She said so many reassuring things about how she's so proud of me and how she looks up to me. She wants me to win this, and she wants me to take it to the end for her. She didn't write that. After reading that, it's like I had more motivation and desire <laughs> to take it to the end than ever. She didn't really leave him a note. <laughs> she wrote it. Yeah, it's a fake note. She wrote it. She's trying to. I slept on the she's couch trying to get a character I felt development. Like I didn't belong with Christy, Achilles, and Diddy because they were so close. She wrote it. Monster. They were really distraught that she wasn't around. It's almost like a part of me wanted them to yell at me and give me grief, you know, because I felt like what I had done was bad. Good morning. How's the couch? I don't understand why you went over there. I can't say that I'm surprised that Sue Sky made it this far because she didn't do it by herself. People's gonna think I fired or something like that. Granted, yeah, she she stepped up a little bit for someone like Quaja to go and to see Sue Sky and stay. It just it didn't feel right. My last green set of underwear. Oh, yeah. With it being the final five, I'm hoping that there's no teams because nobody can can ride anybody's coattails. Like I want to relax and be like, yay, another day. But I'm like, there's gonna be a challenge soon. Good morning, gamers. Hey, Meredith. Oh. Gather round, take a seat. The winner of Tester Three will earn the opportunity of a lifetime to work at the world famous. Santa Monica Studio. And as potential future managers, you need to be able to assess and evaluate not only yourselves, 
but also your team members. So, in preparation for today's challenge, we'll be taking a poll of the loft to get a better understanding of what you think of one another's performances in the competition so far, and also each other in general. I will give you 10 minutes to fill out these surveys individually. We have a, a survey to do about everybody in the house. And you know, the first thought I'm thinking is, this is our opportunity to just dog. So, Skyden. So go ahead, spread out, uh -oh. find some privacy. Uh -oh. I'm gonna freaking kill it today. I'm gonna show They're the gonna judges team that, up on you know, it. what I brought to the table. Uh -oh. I don't wanna answer those things. They're all gonna team up on this girl. They're all gonna, uh oh, drama. Drama, they're all gonna team up on her. I'm expecting drama. them to be um, gaming related questions, but these questions are just ridiculous. This is suck up to the judges. Who is the least creative person in this competition? doesn't belong in the competition. Which person will be eliminated next? Come on. And I'm just like, no. <laughs> like, what is this? Who knows the most about video games? I do. Who has been writing the coattails of others? Hands down. I know when I'm filling out this survey that these are gonna be public and I have to make damn sure that I'm careful. All I can do with this survey is just answer them to the best of my knowledge and just keep my fingers crossed that they don't come to bite me in the ass in the second part of the challenge. Okay, gamers, uh -oh. it's time to turn in your completed survey. This is a big drama. This is a Thank big you. drama. All right, gamers, I'm going to need you to get dressed in the wardrobe provided and meet me out front for your challenge. I mean, I think the judges want to know what's going on. They not only want someone prepared to make tough decisions, they want someone who's honest. I'm expecting like an interview. I'm expecting they're gonna take this and then ask us the same question, expect to see the same answers. This is gonna be the moment where we're gonna see some real callers, man. Welcome, gamers. You're gonna kick them. The first thing I see is a ladder. Oh, what is this? Tetris. Blocks for each person, it seemed like. Tetris. Some kind of puzzle. This is Tetris. Smarts. What does that have to do with snitch survey? Oh, that's no mystery, man. I this I is think, Tetris. You've been competing in teams for the past several challenges. Well, today, it's every gamer for themselves. Now it's we're going to see, now we're gonna see who's one truly on good one at games. One on one on one on one. Good at Tetris. It. First, let's now say hello to our panel. Joining us, as always, is Mr. Brent Goki, Senior Release Manager, Global First Party, Quality Assurance. I think after the last Get elimination, the fuck out of here, Brent uh, you really made me feel that Son you guys wanted bitch. to be here. So I wish you the Get best of luck here. on you this never challenge. Tetris. And our very own model gamer, Adrian Curry. This competition's about towering over oh, your competitors. Shut up. Something I'm very used to. Shut the hell up. You ain't never played fucking Dr. Mario. Dumbass. ...to doing in stilettos, so I'm excited to see who comes out on top. And our guest judge today was the director of War of Monsters and Warhawk. He's now the president of Lightbox Interactive and the director of the highly anticipated third-person shooter, Starhawk. Please welcome Dylan Joe. I'm so excited for Starhawk, as are all the other contestants on the show. We've all been talking about it. Lightbox Interactive... He Nobody knows what the fuck Starhawk is. Dumbass show. Just set up that studio, and I'm a huge fan of his. So today's challenge is uh, inspired by Build and Battle, and much like in the game Starhawk, you have to be able to think under pressure. <laughs> so seeing how you build today is really... <laughs> he brought out Starhawk in the first sentence. Uh, you're gonna, just like Starhawk, you're gonna have to play Tetris. <laughs> really gonna cut you above everyone else. To build a successful career in gaming, you must be able to accomplish difficult tasks and evaluate your own abilities as well. Everywhere that guy goes, whenever he goes to the grocery store, he goes, uh, when I'm buying this groceries, this really reminds me of Starhawk. As those of your peers, which is perfect for today's Starhawk inspired challenge where we're going to test just that. Today, you will build and battle. Just Earlier like today, Starhawk. we took a poll from the loft to find out what you think about your fellow competitors. We've reviewed your answers and tallied building? the results. So like In today's Fortnite? challenge, I will ask the same questions from the survey you took. But I want you to give me the answer you think is the most common answer from the loft. Keep in mind that the correct answer may or may not be the way you answered the survey. So now it's not about what you answer, now it's what do you think everybody said? I'm aware of how they feel. It's not a secret. So I'm like, oh, okay. 
Things have to get dirty and nasty. For the second part of the challenge, you will step up to these building stations <laughs> and using the tiles provided, build a tower as tall as you can in yep. 20 second increments. Next star I will ask a question and you will hold up these cards with the name of the person you think was the most common answer from the survey. If you have a match, you will get 20 seconds to build up your tower. The person with the tallest tower at the end of questioning will win the challenge and be safe from elimination. This is uh, they just, will also yep. receive a this copy is just of like the Star new Hawk. Starhawk game autographed by Dylan Job and the PlayStation 3D display. The losers will be up for elimination tonight. Pick up your name cards. I have a pretty good feel for the loft. In the this is a lot like Starhawk. Of the people in it, so I'm pretty confident that I can match, you know, just about every single question that Meredith's gonna throw at us. Question number one Who is the leader of the loft? Please remember to Star hold Fox. your name cards close to your chest Star and Fox. do not reveal them until I tell you no, to no, do Star so. Wolf. Reveal Star your Wolf. answers. Zeus Kaiden chose Achilles Might. Christy Pride also chose Achilles Might. Reality Pales chose Achilles Might. Achilles Might chose Achilles Might. Sky Diddy chose Achilles Might. Achilles Might is the correct answer. You've all earned 20 seconds. You guys rock. I'm honored, but I have no clue how I'm gonna stack these bricks up. Go. I don't know how many questions we're gonna get asked, but I wanna get some height on my tower quick. My strategy is to build a really strong foundation. Three, two, one, time. <laughs> that strategy was not working. Look at his little turret. I'm really good at like making Look, stuff. Is huge. It's strong and stands. And I'm like, okay, this is strong. And I am feeling confident. Next. She just, she just, they all, she just went up there. She just went, she just stacked them up like that. She, <laughs> nobody else thought to stack them like that. She just went and put them up. Everybody else was trying to like build them like little stupid like a Lego and she just moved them over there <laughs> This is like Starhawk. This is like Starhawk Next question who doesn't belong in this competition? Uh -oh. And I'm just like oh shit. I need to think what everybody is gonna say. All right reveal your answers The correct answer is Susan. They're gonna they're gonna bust them they're gonna like they're gonna she's gonna vote for her own self and then they're gonna go why'd you vote for your own self you're out of there that's how they're gonna get her on this one Skyden, everybody except christy pride gets 20 seconds to build their tower what am i supposed to say go i'm noticing she's just she's stacking them all up basically a six foot tower but she also has no blocks left one time's up that makes absolutely no sense next question who is the least creative person in the competition. Reality, of course. And everybody's gonna get 20 seconds. Reveal your answers. The most common answer, reality pales. I held up my own name. It was because I knew that everybody else was gonna say me, and I hope they don't judge me for it. It was kind of an uncomfortable situation. Everybody, except Sky Diddy, you have 20 seconds to build. Go. I kind of seen everybody's, what they was doing to it. They're gonna find the easy way out. It's, it's a 10 foot tall ladder. You don't need a ladder. If you want to stack pancakes on top of there. Four, three, uh, two, one. What more can you do with that pancake stack? That's bullshit. All right. Next question. Who is the sexiest? It, it goes without uh, saying. I mean, I am a handsome devil, but I'm definitely not going to vote myself. Reveal your answers. Chrissy Pride yeah, was the most yeah. common answer. Arrogant. <laughs> She's adorable, and I, I have a crush on her, but Chrissy the just seems like the kind of person this? that would kick my ass. You all get 20 seconds to build they up your tower. Kicked that, they just were about to kick that guy off for saying bro code. Now they're saying, what is this? <laughs> this is the shittiest show. <laughs> and they say, bro. They were about to kick him off for bro code. On my go, go. Has more questions. And if Big Stack was there, Big Stack would have got it. It's common. She gets answers right and she has time to build. She just kind of stands there. She doesn't have to do anything. She feels her tower is good enough. Five. I have a solid base. Three. And these people are going to fall. Two. One. Stop working. 
And I'm like, ha, ah, bitch, you're jealous. Moving on. I'm a big brute building these little flimsy towers. This is definitely my, my Achilles heel, no pun intended. Next question. <laughs> Who lies? <laughs> Kick him off. Kick him off. He's the most to the panel. Oh, God. I'm starting to realize maybe I've taken Siskaiden as far as I can. Because I'm starting to think of myself, if I don't go home with a win, I go back home a gamer. All right, reveal your answers. Siskaiden was the most common answer. Everyone will get 20 seconds what to build the up question? their shower. It surprised me that Siskaiden kind of caught on and was like, you know what, it's obvious no one likes me, so if I want time to build, I'm gonna answer myself. Go. Which was ironic to me since she was answering She's correctly, not but not building. What an idiot. They're all gonna fall <laughs> down. She almost hit hers. She almost hit her tower with hers. Her shit falls. And it falls on my tower. Thank you, Papa. <laughs> I am like this. <laughs> it almost fell out there. <laughs> They're just trying to piss them off so hard. They're trying to get the girls to fight each other. <laughs> I gotta watch the replay on this. One likes me, so if I want time to build, I'm gonna answer myself. Go. There she goes. This is what we in the Which biz was call I a pro gamer move. This is a pro gamer move. Look at this dumbass. Look at this dumbass me, tower. Since she was answering correctly, but not building. What an idiot. What an idiot. shit falls and it falls on my tower thank you papa i am like beside myself the way they edited it <laughs> she's just sitting there making a dumbass tower and what an idiot <laughs> i think i'm gonna pack my bags tonight shit happens there was one that was even stuck inside my tower damn this girl damn her tower seriously <sighs> She's never played Starhawk. Get her out. Get her out. Continuing on. It doesn't affect her tower in any way because she just stacked her shit and it didn't move at all. Please pick up your cards. There's no way I can just be like, well, my tower fell over, f it, you know? I'm gonna have to rebuild it and rebuild it taller than it was to kind of impress the judges. Who don't you want to go up against? in the finale. I know I can't afford to be in last place. I'm trying to figure out a strategy in my head to, you know, stay cool, but also have the sense of urgency to get me to the finish line. All right, reveal your answers. Achilles Might was the most common answer. So everyone except Reality Pales and Achilles Might will get 20 seconds to build up their tower. Go. I look at Sky Diddy and he's building on a very unsafe structure. Sky Diddy if wins this. It was just gonna get Sky did he wins over. this. Five, four, three. Look at this. Look at two, this. Two. One. A mastermind. Stop. A mastermind. Sky Diddy is a ninja. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even know he's there, and all of a sudden he's two miles in front of you. This is your last question. Who is the most annoying in the loft? So Sky Diddy is sort of like a parasitic life form. You kind of feel like you're like starting to get sick. <laughs> This shit. <laughs> and dizzy and, and nauseous and that's annoying. Reveal your answers. They all the most common <laughs> answer was Sis Kaiden. You just said all the shit you thought you could say it about a person you don't know. <sighs> I hate people like that. You will all get 20 seconds to build up your tower. <laughs> Go. Diddy does not let up at all. She's gonna What's gonna happen is this lady is gonna go, ah, you're an idiot. You're a freaking idiot. And then hers is gonna fall again. <laughs> and it's gonna take out her entire tower. <laughs> That's just not a good idea. He's well ahead in first place. He's still going. He's still going. I kinda told you, tower. 
You ain't got a fall yet. Look at me and the, and the tower kind of bonded together as one unity. And the tower just Look at this. in me. Oh no. Five, oh no. Four. <laughs> three. <laughs> two. One. Sit away from your tower. Oh. Now he's just His shit is straight up 10 feet tall. You could like fart on it and it would fall over. Pretty sure that he's a warlock. Where is it? Look at him, he's so excited. <laughs> this is the best. This is good That's editing. Good. This is uh, this is such good editing. All right, gamers, editing. these are the final standings in our build and battle competition. Even if they fall over now, we are still going to count the height that they are currently. We have Suze Kaiden at about 5'8". We have Achilles Might at six feet. This is the first time that I've truly really failed, and I failed hard. We have Christy Pride at about six feet. Feet one inch, maybe? I know, those two are pretty close. I was disappointed in myself. You're supposed to be the strongest competitor here, and you didn't show it today. We've got Reality Pales at just under eight feet, and the tallest tower by far is Sky Diddy at nine and a half feet. Congratulations, Sky Diddy. You powered over the competition. You are the winner and safe from elimination. You've won. Now there's a guy who plays Starhawk. A copy of the new Starhawk game, autographed by Dylan Job, and the PlayStation 3D display. 3D display. 3D display. 3D display. Ah, feel it. Starhawk is now in my possession, and the 3D display is in my grasp. The losers will face the panel Classic. tonight. Classic Starhawk player. We'll go home. We'll see you all at elimination. You can return to the loft. I could have won the challenge, but. <sighs> Diddy, Diddy's a magic man. There's no words to express his tower. It was unbelievable. Oh! <laughs> How in the hell did that not fall? And I'm like, for yours, I'm like, it's gonna fall. I'm calling him on a black magic. My freaking strategy I had in the beginning, I thought it was good. I felt really bad my She fell asleep. After the challenge, I was resting with Sackboy. I felt so sad. And I know Sackboy felt the same way. She wasn't doing anything. That's anything that's gonna, I, I mean, think with, that's gonna with, be ultimately. She could have at least taken some off her top and built mm -hmm. it up. I hear them talking about me. I, I don't get it. It's gonna come down to those questions though and how we <laughs> answered them. They're gonna ask us, why did you pick so-and-so? It's gonna come down to that. I mean, it's, it's unanimous, man. It's yeah. common, it's unanimous, you see it. You know what I mean? And we answered it honestly. Wow, that's awesome. That's <laughs> super cool. I just <laughs> They're all just talking shit about it. She's so great. <laughs> Everybody, yeah, she sucks. Yeah, she sucks. We all hate her. You think it's really f***ed up that you said I'm annoying when I don't even talk to anybody? I come to my bed and sleep? You are the ones who come over here and start talking to me. Because <laughs> you're by yourself. We want you to kick it with us. But hey, come. Be with us. Why don't you come and chill with us? Why? Why? Really? You're asking me why? Stay back there, nobody cares. Nobody cares about your ass. I don't kiss ass, man. I don't kiss ass. Yeah, I love the way you treat me like shit. And I'm gonna smile at you like, no. What? Uh -oh. And here comes this guy. Here comes the, the tornado. Yo, when have I bugged uh -oh. any of you? This is gonna I'm be big. always in my this room sleeping or reading. Why are you directing? I don't even come and play with you when you're playing. I don't, I don't. She's gonna, this is what's gonna unfold. She's gonna pick up that big dude, start swinging him around like Bowser, take out that freaking, the idiot lady. She's gonna chuck him right in there, pick up K Diddy, choke slam him, freaking rip his head off. I don't wanna bother none of you. Cause I didn't come here to be like, no. You did a funny ass laugh. That shit was annoying. Like, what the f come back? That's okay, why I took the answer. But when they I mean, say that's annoying, it. they don't mean that. They say someone who's bugging you. Out of all the bad stuff that was said about her today, she was only focusing on the fact that we called her annoying. I mean, I take annoying over a liar any day. I honestly feel like you need to relax. Maybe yeah. people okay, thought so you're like, annoying because I'm you're loud. And, like I heard my name, so that's why I came. We were telling you to come over here to chill with us. Yeah. Why? To say that I'm annoying again? No, thank you. You don't like me, so what's the point of having me here? We want you to hang out. See what this? What they don't know? She poisoned all those water bottles. This is her genius. They're all. Notice how they're all drinking the water. That's all, that's all just, they all just got tugging out right here. This is a big plan. 
They're all gonna fall on the floor now. Watch this. It's just the f five of us. I wanna but know you, you. You guys haven't given me the chance. Oh, you guys are, you are you're back there like Quasimodo. <laughs> you in the bell tower by yourself, like right? The only person who has taken the moment to be like, hey, let me get to know you is him. You're tr actually trying to be my friend when you have never really tried to be my friend. I'm not going with it. I have yeah. no feelings whatsoever for nobody here. Okay, then go back to your f bell tower. Huh? We're just trying to be nice to you, that's all. She did it to herself, and now she's trying to act all dramatic and surprised that, that no one in the house really cares for her. No, she does what she always does. She throws a fit, she weeps, she wails, so and then dramatic. she goes back to her belt. This tower. is so dramatic. This is such a big drama. All of us lost except for Diddy, and even though the focus was, you know, kind of put on Seuss Gaiden, you know, we all lost, which is, you know, it's a scary thing. This is the first time I'm truly on the chopping block. This is the first time that I truly, really failed. But I'm a fierce competitor. I, I keep a smile on my face. I'm just like Starhawk. You know, just like Starhawk. I'm just gonna do what I do. I'm not gonna let them send me home. This is not a popularity contest. I am not here to win Miss Congeniality. I'm not scared. I am ready. But I'm just a person who wants to get ahead on life. And I'm gonna do whatever I have to do to do that. Good evening, gamers. Good evening. It's time for your sixth elimination. Tonight, one of you will hand over your PlayStation badge, ending your quest for the coveted position of production associate on the next PlayStation 3 blockbuster at Santa Monica Studio. Sky Diddy, you built a formidable tower and proved you have self-awareness yep. and the ability to evaluate others. You are. This is all the. This is all the skills that you need to work on games. They're they're testing. They're putting them through the gauntlet. You got to find stuff in the sand, find to little toys in the sand. You gotta know how to stack up a tower real high. You gotta know how to throw a watermelon at a thing. What were the other things? You gotta know how to build a car. You gotta know how to build a car. This is all stuff they're gonna ask you, like a job interview at one of these, one of these game studios. Safe from tonight's elimination. You know you did, uh, you did pretty damn good. Got to dress Scott up Diddy, like Joker. There dress comes up like a time Joker. when you have to know when to stop. You got to a point where you kept adding and I kept thinking you were gonna fail and it's a lot like in game development where you have a build yep. and you're almost done yep. with it you have to deliver it but you keep adding more stuff you keep adding more and more stuff and then it's a true masterpiece see it's just like gaming it is like gaming and you want to continue to tweak and add and adjust and you know that every single change you mm -hmm. do could screw it all up and break the build yeah and i saw some of that from you you had the tallest tower but it could easily have come crashing down sky d you are immune tonight yeah that was bad that was bad that you actually won that was a bad thing that you did by winning so eliminate this guy actually uh play too much starhawk Maybe, maybe, maybe play some better games. The other four of you, you're all at risk. I'd like to jump to Achilles watching you today and going through the questions. It was obvious that the rest of the cast sees you kind of as like the strongest. You were right next to Sky Diddy, and I don't think you necessarily adapted as well as you could have. I'm, I'm heavy handed. So, you know, the, the finesse is, is not my strong point. I tried to make a strong base and it just didn't work. You know, I kind of hit it twice and knocked it over you know, twice, and I, but I didn't, I gave up. The judges ran right for me, but I knew they would. I didn't perform nearly as well as I, I expected to. It's, it was tough. Don't be complacent. You have to really bring your 100% A game. Of course. So, Christy, what do you think of the build? I know where I made my mistake. I was only seeing my tower from one angle, and I should have taken a look around to see that I was tilting. But once it fell down, you know, it was, it was really discouraging. Your tower fell. Kick her out, her tower fell. It sucked. I obviously can't give up. I won't give up. I'm not just. You said idiot, and then your tower fell off. It's gonna be like it fell down. So you know. It seemed to me like you you did give up. The initial approach, the strategy that you had. Truth be told, that is a that's a basic thing. A five year old could do that. The whole thing fell down. You were presented with an opportunity <laughs> where it's like. Oh. Wait, what did he just say? Basic thing. A five year old could do that. The whole thing fell down. You were presented. Oh my god. This man just destroyed this woman. He said a five year old could make that better. He said, y Your tower sucks so much ass, a five year old could build a better tower. That's it. That's it. It's over. Presented with an opportunity where it's like, Okay, you were going to lose, 
or you could just bring out some crazy kung fu and build a, a nuts tower. He's saying that she doesn't have a drive. Christy doesn't show that she has any passion at all. You resigned yourself to failure, and I know for a fact in game development, there are times where you think, you know, it's 4 a.m. and there's issues with the build, and you think, oh my god, how are we... <laughs> this guy is reading so much. He's reading so much into the tower <laughs> stacking. <laughs> He's, <laughs> I could tell. I could tell how you, how you gave up on building the tower. You're never, you're never gonna be able to. Don't go. You're never gonna be able to handle making Starhawk. Are we gonna do this? You have to push through it. It's like I can see what they mean, but within reason, I don't know how many questions Meredith had left for me. But I had to get something up. I had to do as much work as I could, and so I wanted to get that base up. So I played it a little safe. In the She's last out. challenge, She's out. we kind of mentioned, you know, it's competition. You know, go go risky. You don't need to play it safe because, you know, just go all out. Just don't know if I saw that. They're telling me that when I'm giving opportunities, I don't seize them with everything I've got. I respect their opinion, but there was no way I was going to go the Sky Diddy route. There's just no way. I'm not a warlock. Uh, Suze Kaiden, for, for you watching the question portion, some very interesting data came out of that stated early on that this isn't really a popularity contest, but some of those responses were pretty surprising. You were voted the most annoying, doesn't belong in this competition, and person who lies to the judges. Have you been lying <laughs> yeah, to us? No. All I have done is come here, step in front of you, defend myself. With every single weapon I think I have, putting out the fact that I... Everybody said you're a doo-doo, yo poo-poo. <laughs> You stupid. Everybody said your towers suck. Everybody said they want to punch you in the head. I do want to be here. That I have the personality, the preparation, even if you haven't been able to see it completely. And I want this. I don't, reality, you obviously voted for it. Why did you, why'd you vote that way? You know, on the trip back to the loft that day when we were doing the Twisted Metal Challenge, I heard pretty much from everybody on Sue Skyden's team a lot of bad things about Sue Skyden's performance. So... Like Frankenstein, I decided it was time to time to kill my monster. So that wasn't your feeling? You were just going with the popular vote? Honestly, I feel like she might have lied. She might have fabricated a few things. He's a coward. I think reality doesn't have integrity at all. He's an asshole. He backstabbed me. I want to kill him in this moment. What goes around comes around. Uh -huh. When you have a tight-knit game development team, and you have someone that can write... <laughs> Who is this Starhawk guy? Oh, he's bringing in this shit. All right, let's see what this is like. What is this like when you're making a game? Wrongly or wrongly, get you flagged for what appears to be the biggest ass of the whole show. That's not good. You could be the best artist and have the most passion, but your net impact on the team would be so negative, they may not want you. Why would I even hire you? It's very different when I'm in a competition trying to get my dream job, and then when I'm in a company working under the instructions of someone who's been there for so many years. She can defend herself to the T. If she channeled that in the right direction, she could be unstoppable. This is one price, one winner. You cannot forget that. You cannot just lay on your pillow and say, ah, I'm gonna make friends and be happy. I wanna stop you right there then, because you know one smart thing you did is when everyone was voting against you, you realized, all right, I'll probably start a vote against myself. Uh -huh. And so you got the extra time. When you got that extra time, you made no adjustments to your tower. And so you're like, hey, this is a competition. You yeah. can't sleep on your pillow. Yeah. She didn't even modify her tower. You guys. She didn't even modify her tower with all that extra time. It's like she never even played Tetris. But I don't even remember how many times it was. You. She didn't even build like a moat. She could have built like a big moat and like put like little army figures on there to defend it. Probably one three in a row and you built nothing you had one block in your hand you everything was just stacked up and you're like oh it's sturdy i feel like she doesn't even play star hawk i feel like all she plays is tony hawk i saw sky Didi's tower and i really thought it was gonna fall and i didn't think it was a good way of building it i prefer to have a product that proved that it was strong. You know what? That would all be incredibly worthwhile if the competition was the sturdiest pile of blocks. But it wasn't. It was the tallest. Speaking of everybody wants to win and the challenge itself, Christy not necessarily putting in that last minute effort to push it forward. That's still kind of lingering with me a little bit. 
Right on. No, I um, I get it. Um, You're out. To me, I see it a little bit differently. You're out. No disrespect. I did get it up, and I was the third highest. So you don't think that you were playing it safe? No. At that point, I knew I wasn't going to reach Diddy status. How did you know that? You guys didn't know how many questions we were going to ask. Okay, yeah, uh -oh. I guess. Uh-oh. 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 They kind of did, because you gave them the survey. And they, they probably knew that the, there was the questions on the survey were there wasn't that many. Yes, you're, you're right. Um, I'm shocked at this point that they're not giving Sue Sky and more shit about her tower. So if they want to talk about seizing, I feel like they should look at her. I think what it really comes down to here is unchanneled passion versus subpar passion. Christy, for you, I didn't think that you brought it as much as you could. Everyone fails. The tower's a metaphor, right? It is all dependent on how quickly you build again. it back up, and you <laughs> did a poor job recovering. I'm preparing myself to go home. I truly am. That being said, I think in the end, unchanneled passion can really only take you so far. So, Suze Kaiden, I'm sorry. Your game ends here. Suze Kaiden, I'm gonna have to ask you to hand in your badge. They don't want it as much as I want it. They don't need it. Hand in all your controllers. Hand in all your counsels. As much as I need it. And I'm like, okay, f man, I'm fine. Let me just go and nap now. Thank you so much. I mean, it is what it is. I want to be at the top. I don't care if it's just, if I have to get there in a pile of corpses. I'm, I'm so sick of these people. For the rest of you, there's really no more warnings we can give you. Only one of you are going to win. And you're going to win an awesome job at a great company. And we want someone who really, really, really wants it to win. Don't count on someone else failing. Because you know what? You're not going to win this competition with just gray. And I guarantee you, if you're delivering gray at Santa Monica Studio, they're not going to be happy with that because they don't deliver gray. The final four. You're all still. Yeah. They only want, they want purple. Starhawk. On the running for the job at Santa Monica Studio, the Sony 3D television and PlayStation 3, the $5,000 signing bonus, and the 2012 Ford Focus Titanium. You are one challenge away from the finale. I bet it's so close you can almost even taste it. So don't choke. Good night. I can honestly say that all of us deserve to be here. Throughout this journey, I have felt more and more confident She's getting every so week. crazy. We're just a challenge away from the top three. There's no way I'm gonna not take this to the end. Next week on The Tester. He's going swimming! I will ask you a series. Oh, that one looks like a good challenge. All right, you guys, I'm hungry. That was a great PlayStation Direct. Really got to see a lot of big games this year. Really got to see the uh, so many big games. I love you, Donkey. Who do you think will win? You know what? You know who I think is gonna win this. In the end, it's gonna be big. It's gonna be big twist. I think he's gonna come back. I think they're gonna let him back into the competition, and he's finally gonna win this. And it's finally gonna be big twist that wins this one. And maybe he'll win the copy of Starhawk even. All right, I'm gonna go eat. I'm going. Bye bye. Bye bye, gamers. Remember, always have this if you're a true gamer. It's on the table. Remember to play the new game Starhawk. Bye bye.